Urban Divine Doctor plus Immortal Cultivation plus Pretending to Force Face plus Super Fast Rhythm, people who are unlucky enough to drink water will get stuck between their teeth. Just when they turn green, they are struck by lightning. Even if struck by lightning, I almost got swallowed up by the Immortal Emperor's elemental spirit. Fortunately, by chance at a critical moment, the ancestral treasure was activated, and luckily it devoured the Immortal Emperor's essence, thus opening the path of counterattack. Awakening to control the world, lying drunk on the knees of a beautiful woman. Chapter 1 Suffering from Cruelty You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chin Fong, how dare you follow me? Since you don't trust me, let's break up. Outside the gate of the Maple Leaf Hotel, Lu Yunxi looked down at Qin Feng from a high position with an extremely disgusted expression. You. You. Qin Feng glared angrily as he landed in Yunxi, his face flushed, his chest fluttering one after another, with a feeling that his lungs were about to explode. The woman in front of him is his girlfriend. She came to a hotel with Zhang Xiaoyuan tonight, and he happened to be delivering takeout to Maple Leaf Hotel when he accidentally bumped into her. Who would have thought that Lu Yunxi not only showed no signs of guilt, but also rightfully accused him and wanted to break up. Even more outrageous is that this woman is still leaning on Zhang Xiaoyuan's arms at this moment, so blatant, so natural, so affectionate, without any trace of disguise. Little licking dog, a drop of blood from Yunxi has just been given to me and has become my woman. You better stay away from her in the future, otherwise I will make you die unsightly. Zhang Xiaoyuan was full of energy, with a look of disdain in his eyes. Qin Feng was so angry that his whole body trembled, his veins burst on his face, and his eyes were filled with murderous intent. This woman has been with her for three years, only holding hands and saying that something beautiful should be kept until the wedding night. Now it seems that he is the dumbest idiot in the world. Little licking dog, I warn you that anger without ability is just an act of overestimation and self-humiliation. Zhang Xiaoyuan sneered with a contemptuous expression and said, Also, you need to recognize what you are. You don't have the money to learn what kind of goddess to bubble. A toad wants to eat swan meat, it's wishful thinking. Qin Feng was very angry, but had no way to refute it. Over the past three years, he has been seen by many as a toad. Is Lu Yunxi a white swan? But what is Zhang Zhaonian? What else is there besides a few stinky coins that look crooked and have cracked dates? But ironically, a few stinky money families received a drop in Lu Yunxi's blood. And what about him? For the past three years, I have been asking for warmth and comfort, bowing and bowing, but to my surprise, I have only held hands a few times. Qin Feng took a deep breath and forcefully suppressed the urge to kill. He now had a completely cold heart towards Lu Yunxi, so he said, Lu Yunxi, since we are going to break up, then you can return the 100,000 yuan I lent you a month ago to me. Among the 100,000 yuan, I borrowed 50,000 yuan from online loans. I hope you can repay me for the kindness I have shown you over the past three years. A month ago, Lu Yunxi fabricated a lie that his father was seriously ill and hospitalized, deceiving him into borrowing 100,000 yuan. If it weren't for tonight's incident, no matter how hard it may be, he wouldn't have thought about asking the other party to repay it. Lu Yunxi let out a poo and snorted arrogantly, are you still not a man? I've been in a relationship with you for three years, wasting three years of my youth. Are you spending this little money on me? Is that too much? I didn't ask you for three years of youth loss money. You should have secretly laughed and asked me to pay back. You're afraid it's just a daydream. Qin Feng's face turned pale with an impulse to vomit blood. He spent more than 100,000 yuan on Lu Yunxi. Over the past three years, it has accumulated at least 300,000 or more. The money he earns from working and working part-time at night delivering takeout every month, except for rent and living expenses, is spent on this woman. The hard-earned money he earned through hard work is so insignificant in the eyes of this woman. Three years of love, three years of youth, his youth is not youth. 
and he is also the one who has been severely hurt. If there had been a hint of reluctance and love for this woman before, but at this moment it was completely gone, leaving only disgust. If you don't repay it, then I'll have to sue you in court. Qin Feng didn't want to make a scene of going to court, but this woman was really disgusting. He hated himself for being blind and bowing in front of this woman for three years. Oh, I'm so scared. Lu Yunxi looked contemptuously at Qin Feng and then shook Zhang Xiaonian's arm coquettishly, saying, Darling, did you hear that? This stinky loser is going to sue me, you have to help me. After speaking, she also gave Zhang Xiaonian a kiss on the face. Upon seeing this, Qin Feng's veins burst on his face, and his fists clenched with a clattering sound. At this moment, he had an impulse to kill. This woman is clearly humiliating him. The previous reserved attitude in front of him was nothing but bullshit. It's just that he doesn't have money. No power. No momentum. Zhang Xiaonian confidently pinched the buttocks of Lu Yunxi and looked down at Qin Feng with a contemptuous expression. Ignorance is really scary. With just a little licking dog like you, a woman who doesn't have money, let alone power, and wants to sue me. Do you know who I am? The Maple Leaf Hotel belongs to my family. In order to help you recognize your identity, I have decided to teach you a lesson. Immediately, Zhang Xiaonian waved to the security guards of two hotels and two doormen, pointing at Qin Feng and sneering, beat me to death. I will take responsibility for what happens. Okay, Zhang Xiao. Two security guards and two doormen chuckled and started directly. Qin Feng wanted to resist, but his two fists were difficult to match his four hands, and he was quickly knocked down to the ground. Qin Feng could only weakly embrace his head with both hands, but he couldn't protect anything else, and soon he began to bleed. Lu Yunxi looked at Qin Feng being beaten and looked contemptuous. This is what you brought on yourself, no wonder I. If you want to blame yourself, you can only blame yourself for not being able to measure your own abilities and not recognizing your identity as a loser. A piece of trash. Zhang Xiaonian stepped forward and fiercely stepped on Qin Feng's head, causing Qin Feng, who was already close to fainting, to faint. Pu Zhang Xiaonian saw that Qin Feng had no reaction, so he spat directly at him and ordered, throw him onto the street, let him live and die on his own. After speaking, he hugged the small man who landed in Yunxi and got into a Mercedes Benz, flying away in the dust. And Qin Feng, like a dead dog, was thrown onto the street by two security guards. Bang, not long after the two security guards left, a thunderous sound suddenly sounded in the night sky, followed by dark clouds, lightning and thunder, raging winds, and pouring rain. Tonight's lightning is particularly terrifying, extremely frequent, and to the naked eye, it seems to hit the ground at any moment. Under the heavy rain, Qin Feng gradually regained consciousness. However, before he could fully awaken, a purple lightning bolt fell from the sky and happened to fall on him, instantly dissipating into nothingness. Strangely, his body was not damaged at all, only unconscious. At this moment, the ancestral dragon-shaped jade pendant on his chest suddenly emitted a dazzling golden light, but it only flashed away. At the next moment, the dragon-shaped jade pendant exploded into powder with a loud bang, and was immediately washed away by the rainwater. At the same time, strange sounds echoed in Qin Feng's mind. Chapter 2 His brain seems to have problems. You are listening at NovelFull.audio De Ko Lois A R A Trong Qua Trin Lay Text Chapter 3 The First Appearance of Sharpness You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio De Ko Lois A R A Trong Qua Trin Lay Text Chapter 4 Do You Want to Seek Death? You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio De Ko Lois A R A Trong Qua Trin Lay Text Chapter 5 would rather cry in a luxury car. You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. De Ko Lois A R A Trong Qua Trin Lay Text. Chapter 6 Fate Between Shared Roommates. 
You are listening at novelfull.audio. De Colois A.R.A. Trong Quatrin Lay Text. Chapter 7. Reverse. You are listening at novelfull.audio. De Colois A.R.A. Trong Quatrin Lay Text. Chapter 8. A Great Change in Personality. You are listening at novelfull.audio. De Colois A.R.A. Trong Quatrin Lay Text. Chapter 9. Extreme Arrogance. You are listening at novelfull.audio. De Colois A.R.A. Trong Quatrin Lay Text. Chapter 10. Furious Fury. You are listening at novelfull.audio. De Colois A.R.A. Trong Quatrin Lay Text.